Welcome juniors. And this is Miss Malloy coming to you from the guidance office. Hope you all enjoyed your break. Believe it or not, it's time to start talking about registration for your senior year. Before I start, there are some materials that you will need. They include a registration guide, a white grade 12 registration sheet, and something to write with. Before we start choosing classes, I want to talk to you about the importance of your senior year. Most students apply to college, whether tech college, two-year college, or four-year college, in the fall of their senior year. This means that your GPA and rank through the end of your junior year is what colleges will use for their admission decision. Most four-year colleges like to see students in the top half of their class and a GPA around 3.0. If you are in the top half of your class, then your goal is to keep your GPA where it is or improve it. If you do not like your GPA or you are not in the top half of your class, then you have the rest of terms three and four to improve your grades so that you can raise your rank. When you apply to college, they will ask you to list the courses you will be taking in your senior year. It is important to finish strong and take rigorous courses that will prepare you for college. Colleges will ask you for an end of the year transcript. If you drop any classes during your senior year, you will need to report this to the college you have been admitted to. Colleges have the right to decline your admission if they are concerned about how you finished your senior year. Placement exams used for admission. ASVAB is used for military. ACCUPLACER is often used by tech and two-year colleges. ACT or SAT are required by four-year colleges. How you score on these exams could determine job options in the military, whether you can start in college classes or have to take remedial courses, which do not count towards your major, or whether you'll be admitted to the college of your choice. Choosing classes wisely and doing well in them will help you prepare for these tests. Students who are planning to apply to a four-year college are required to take the ACT or SAT test at the end of their junior year. The ACT is the preferred test by Midwest schools like Minnesota, Wisconsin, North Dakota, South Dakota, Ohio, and Iowa. The SAT is preferred by East or West Coast or Ivy League schools. You can take both tests, but if you know you're staying in the Midwest, I would recommend just taking the ACT. I would recommend taking the ACT plus writing in case you decide to apply to a college that requires the writing portion. Juniors can start registering now for the June 8th ACT test date. If you have a conflict with this date, then sign up for the April date. You can register for the ACT and or SAT by going online to www.actstudent.org for the ACT or www.collegeboard.com for the SAT. Or you can stop by the guidance office and pick up an informational page on registering for the ACT or SAT. Chisago Lakes High School is a testing site for the June test date. Space is limited, so sign up early. Again this year, Chisago Lakes High School, in partnership with Kaplan, will be offering an ACT practice test. This will take place on Monday, January 20th, a non-school day. Cost is $5. The test will run from 9 a.m. to noon. If you're interested, please sign up in the guidance office with Jen by January 17th. Space is limited. In the next four slides, I will cover ways that you can earn free college credit while being in high school. First, concurrent enrollment. Concurrent enrollment classes are taught at the high school by high school teachers. Students earn both high school and college credit for these courses. We offer concurrent enrollment classes through Lake Superior College. Course options include college algebra and trig, college calculus, college psychology, college sociology, college anatomy and physiology, college Spanish, and college physics. Juniors must rank in the top third of their class, seniors in the top half of their class in order to register for any of the concurrent enrollment courses. Students also need to take and pass the ACCUPLACER test in order to be in the courses in the fall. The ACCUPLACER will be offered here at Chisago Lakes High School in the spring. We also offer animal science through the University of Minnesota. You must be a junior or senior and rank in the top half of your class in order to register. And we offer health care to seniors through Pine Technical Community College. The second option is PSEO, which stands for Post-Secondary Enrollment Option. PSEO is taking college classes on a college campus. The requirements are listed on page 10 of the registration guide, but in general, seniors need to be in the top half of their class for this to be an option. However, eligibility depends on the individual college. If interested in PSEO, please set up a meeting with your school counselor and parent in early spring. The third way to earn college credit is through Advanced Placement, or AP courses. 
At Chisago Lakes High School, we offer AP English, AP U.S. History, and AP Biology. AP classes are college rigor and prepare you for an AP test taken in the spring. Most colleges require a score of three or higher to receive college credit or receive advanced placement in a course. Review page 10 of the registration guide for more information. When choosing classes for your senior year, start with the classes that are required, then look at classes that would best help prepare you for college or are relevant to your post-secondary plans or career choice. Also, look at classes that you are good at or sound interesting to you. Let's talk about the required classes for the senior year. Turn to page 23 in your registration guide to use the 12th grade planning page. Every senior needs one credit of English. Turn to the English section in the registration book around page 32. Find your current 11th grade English class on the flowchart. For example, if you took English 11 as a junior, you will register for English 12 and an English elective in your senior year. If you took American Lit and Academic Writing as a junior, you will pick one of the three literature courses listed and one of the elective courses listed. If you took American Lit Honors as a junior, you will take AP English as a senior. Remember, if you did not take academic writing as a junior, you will need to take it as a senior. For social studies, seniors are required to take economics and a social studies elective. Please refer to the social studies section of the registration guide around page 54 for a list of the social studies elective options. Science and math are not required your senior year, but are recommended by colleges, especially if you are looking at a career that is science or math related. Make sure that you have completed your one credit in art. Remember, foreign language is not required for high school graduation, but two years of the same foreign language is required for four-year college admissions. A review of your credit check will tell you the number of electives that you will need for graduation. Let's fill out your white registration sheet. For English, everyone should circle two English classes. Again, use the flowchart in the English portion of the registration guide to help you determine which classes to circle. Please do this now. For social studies, please circle economics and at least one social studies elective. Two classes total. Please do that now. Now circle the elective classes that you would like to register for. Remember to pick the electives that will be helpful to your career choice or that sound interesting to you. Please list at least two alternate classes in case you do not get into the ones that you request. Please have a parent sign the back of the white registration sheet so that we know they have been included in the registration process. In order to register, we ask that you have your registration sheet completed, two alternates listed, and a parent signature. We will register as we did last year during pause from January 13th to the 24th. Please check the registration groups posted in pause on the guidance office window and on the cafeteria doors to see where you are scheduled to register. If you have any questions regarding the requirements for 12th grade, you need a credit check or help with course selection, please see your counselor before or after school or during passing time. Thank you. We are looking forward to helping you register for your senior year.